Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to show you how to do the cradle cross carry in a wrap. This is a great hold to breastfeed in because they're kind of in a, a cradle position. Their head is a lot closer to your breast than in more of an upright hug hold. So this is my favorite one for breastfeeding. I've had a ton of requests for this video. I haven't done it a ton myself. I did it a few times when he was a little newborn and then I've done it once to practice for this video. He is about six months old right now. He weighs about 17 pounds so, and he's sitting in his high chair in there so you'll probably be able to hear him. So he's getting a little big for this but you can still wear a bigger baby in, in this hold. It's just not my favorite but I've had some new requests so I figured I would just show you how to do it just so you know what to do and how to get your baby in here. It's actually pretty easy. Today I'm using a boba wrap, but you can use any kind of wrap that you have. You can use a Moe wrap, a Sally baby wrap, a cuddle bug wrap. This is a tutorial for a wrap, so this isn't for a sling or anything else, but as long as it's a wrap, then you're good to go. You'll have to tie it tighter or looser depending on the brand. If it's a Moby, they are not nearly as stretchy as a boba, so you'll have to tie it a lot looser so that you, there's room for the baby. But with a, a boba, this is quite stretchy, so you really don't have to worry as much about getting the perfect tightness at first. So anyway, let's get right into this tutorial. So you're basically going to tie it the same way as you would for the regular like hug hold or the newborn hold or the hip hold. They're all pretty much the same way to tie it, which is handy to remember. <laughs> I really like that it's all the same way. Oh, and I didn't realize that my shirt and my wrap were matching. That wasn't even on purpose. <laughs> you're gonna find the middle tag and you want, you're gonna wanna center that on your stomach. And I like to bunch this up before I put it, a lot of people lay it flat, but I just enjoy bunching it better for how it turns out in the end. So then you're going to take the right side and pull it up over your left shoulder. So it crosses in the back. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. You're going to take from your left side over your right shoulder. So now they're crossed in the back, and that's exactly what we want. You want to try to get the panels as flat as you can. So it's easier to adjust them now than after the baby's in it. So now you have it coming around your stomach, and these two coming down in the front. So I'm just going to take these and put them in the stomach panel. And then now you just take them and cross them like this. They bunch them up again just so it's easier this way. You get around to your back, then cross it in the back, and bring it around to your front and tie it. Now depending on your size and how long your wrap is, you might need to tie it in the back. You might need to bring it around again and tie it, bring it around to the front and then tie it in the back. It just, just depends on how long you want the tails of this. So you can see this is pretty snug to me, but you can also see how stretchy this boba wrap is, like you can fit a big baby in there. And I didn't do it as tight as I would for the hug hold because you want them a lot closer to you with the hug hold. But with the Moby, since it's not stretchy, you're gonna wanna have it like way out here without having to stretch it like this. So just you just gotta play around with the kind of wrap that you have and just, just practice with it a lot before you have to like go somewhere with your baby in it. I like to practice a lot at home with new holds and new wraps and just any new baby carriers. On the panel that goes underneath, you're going to find the one that's under. You can see this one's over and this one's under. So you're gonna take this panel and then you're just gonna fold it in half. So you just bring that bottom over and then you get it folded in half just like this. So you can see there's a nice little pouch right here. And that's where we're gonna put his butt and his back. It, it just creates a nice little place for them to sit in that's nice and secure. Now we have it on, so I'm gonna go grab Dimmy. Here's my son, Dimmy. He's getting so big. Now, again, he's a little big for this, but it'll work for the purposes of showing you how to do this <laughs> hold. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how much he'll like it. I'm just gonna hold him over on this shoulder and I'm gonna get this pouch ready for him to sit in. And then I'm just going to stretch this over his butt and kind of lower him into this pouch. So he's sitting in this, it's out over his back. Hey buddy, hi. You can kind of put his, you can reach through here and put his arm under your underarm. That just makes it more comfortable for them so they can lay towards you easier. Okay, so now they're in this half. So you're going to just stick their legs through this half as well. And then I stretch this around just like this. Now, if you had a newborn in this, you would 
their legs would be like more bunched up and you could put it in in this butt pouch and then in this pouch but he likes to be loose <laughs> he does not want his legs to be confined so, so now you have two pretty good layers of support but now we're going to bring this stomach panel up and put it over their back and their butt just like this so now he's nice and secure he's not going to go anywhere he's not really liking this he's feeling a little bit antsy so and then if you're going to nurse him you can kind of tuck their head in this pouch you're going to want to like kind of adjust him and turn him towards you and then i'm not going to nurse him right now because he doesn't need to but you can see how if i was going to nurse him in this i should wear a shirt that can pull down because it's a lot of work to pull it up with all of this on you this is a nice easy hold for breastfeeding and he is nice and comfy in there he does like to have his pacifier and he's calmed down but you can see how this would be a really great one for a newborn it's nice and easy for breastfeeding, so you can just walk around and nurse them, and they're nice and secure. So if you get them in here and you realize that it's the wrong tightness, you can undo this knot down here and kind of loosen it or pull on all the panels and then tighten it around your waist. You can adjust it with them in here, but if you're not experienced at it and you're feeling not very confident in doing that, I would recommend just taking them out and then readjusting it and then putting them back in. So I'll show you how to take them out. So I'm just going to hold under his back. I'll take that panel off. I'll take this panel off. And then I can just grab under his arms and pull them right out. That's how you do the cross cradle carry. There's a couple different ways that you can tie it and do it. That is just the way that I enjoy the most. It feels the most secure for, secure for me. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. It was just a little shorter than my other baby, baby wearing videos but i hope it was helpful and don't forget to go check out my baby wearing playlist i have all sorts of tutorials all kinds of different holds and wraps how to tie and wear, wear your babies in slings how to do more of the strap type carriers how to wear them on your back all sorts of stuff so i will link that down below and up in the cards so you can easily find it but anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye